Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so stoked to share today's video with you guys. So Miranda from Corgi's Wine and Nails did a collab with Gigi's Nail Co. And together they created the Love Like Winter collection. And I'm obsessed with it. Completely and utterly obsessed and in love. You can even ask Miranda yourself because the amount of time... I told her I was excited about it, probably got on her damn nerves. I already went and did a mani on my left hand. So if you purchase the full collection together, you will get those adorable snowflakes. And what I love about them is they're different color snowflakes. Some are hollow, some are translucent. Um, some of them are even a different size. The ones I did on my left hand are bigger than some of the other ones. So this is the full collection of 12 colors. I love it. And if you are looking to shop a little extra, these two are the two colors that were created with Miranda's son, Nico, in mind during Diabetes Awareness Month. So those two are called Baby Shark and Delicious. I had to get those two because... <laughs> Delicious is kind of like a little inside joke. Me, Miranda, and Nico all call it like our trio song. It's a song by Nick Jonas. Um, you need to listen to it. It's adorable. She sent me a video of Nico dancing to it and just made me love it even more. And of course, Baby Shark is the shimmery blue that goes along perfectly with Delicious. But I just wanted to share all the Miranda things with you guys. So... We are mainly going to get right into this collection that she and Kim from Gigi's created. First of all, I would like to thank both of them for sending this collection over to me and gifting it to me. I am so excited. I would have bought it either way. <laughs> but when she told me that Kim sent it over, I was just could not wait to get these colors on my nails. I don't think I've been this excited for a collection to come out in a very long time. So you can get the collection in either the 0.33 ounce jars or in the half ounce jars, depending on how much powder you want in your collection. Um, but like I said, if you order the whole collection together, all 12 colors, you will automatically receive those snowflakes in your order. Um, but if there are just certain colors that you want, if you don't want to purchase the whole entire collection, the colors are listed individually. And then if you still want the snowflakes, they are on the website so you can order them separately as well. So for my Manny today, I am using January Friend, which is the one I'm dipping into right now. And then next is going to be Shivers, which is the darker shade. And then the marble is along December. I will leave everything linked down below. Like I said, um, I'm using my Triple D liquids. They are my favorite, my go-to liquids. So if you are in need of some liquids, definitely try out the Triple D ones if you have not. Um, and I am using my Double Dip Clear. Um, but yeah, I love this collection and I feel like it really screams Miranda. <laughs> if you have been following her, if you know her, then you know her heart is all about the purples, um, but she just, she loves the girly colors. So to me, I can really tell that this, like she had a big part in picking all these colors and everything for this collection. Because to me, it's Miranda vibes throughout the whole entire thing. So I'm just going to do a basic uh, vertical ombre mani with these. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let you guys watch for a bit and I will be back. <music>
so now I'm gonna get started with my marble and I did just kind of want to walk you guys through how I do the Gigi's marble dip powders just because usually when you guys see me work with a glitter I usually pour over the first layer but with the marble dips I don't I lay every single layer into the powder I shake it because the key with these marble dips is you want to get as many of these white um, circle glitters on there as possible because the white glitters is what gives it more of that marble effect so just put it in a cupcake liner lay your finger into it and just take a little bit of time pressing down you want to use not use you want to make sure that the white glitters absorb um, a good amount of that base so it should almost be like a milky white when you put your next coat of base over it because that is what gives the marble effect you can do it for the marble effect or you could do it however you do normal glitters either way it is beautiful but each time i'm doing a dip i do shake my cupcake liner and bring more of those white glitters up to the top so i'm just gonna get this all done i'm gonna do vertical ombres on my index and my ring finger i'm gonna be honest with you guys <laughs> i meant to film my doing my clear capping when i was all said and done i kind of had an accident when i was doing this manny i don't know why but I had my hand on my leg and I went to get up out of my chair and I have a gaming chair that I sit in at my nail desk and I just spin my chair around and get up uh for some reason I forgot to take my hand off my leg and spun my chair around and my pinky finger got caught in between uh my leg and my desk it's still swollen <laughs> and red which I think you guys will see in a little bit but when I went to start clear capping my finger hurt so bad my whole hand was like shaking <laughs> so I was out of frame but please know that I did clear cap all of my nails like I normally do you especially want to cure cure clear cap these glitters so I was a little out of frame, so I did cut out the clear capping and the activating, but just know I did all that good stuff. If you've been following me for a while, then you already know how I clear cap and activate. So you might see me pull my hand out and look at it a couple times. It hurt. <laughs> so I'm going to let you guys watch. I'm going to get this finished up and I will be back. Okay, so I did show clear capping at least one now, so that part got in frame. So this is one of those trust the process manis, mainly because after I hurt my finger, I got a little sloppy. See, look at my pinky. It like instantly swelled up. It's still swollen and it still hurts. I'm not going to be a baby about it. I powered through and continued this mani anyway. So I am all buffed and filed. As you can see, it went from hot mess to very nice. <laughs> so just trust the process, especially 
with any glitters that you do. Filing and buffing really is your friend and can save a mani. So now I'm getting into my top coat. I'm just applying my activator. I'm gonna let it sit for like 30, 45 seconds and then I will swipe it with some alcohol, dry it with a clean dry paper towel and then I will get into my dip top coat process. So I'm gonna let you guys watch and zone out as I top coat these gorgeous colors, the shimmer in the light purple and then this dark, I'd call it like a blurple, is so pretty. It almost has like a coral shimmer in them, which I think is gonna make them so perfect for spring and summer, you guys. I love all these colors. I hope you love them too because I'm probably going to end up doing more videos with them. So I'm going to let you guys watch. I'm going to finish up my top coat and I'll be back to show you guys the finished Manny. <laughs> complete and done top coat is dry I'm just gonna go in now and apply my candy skincare cuticle oil as I always do like I said links for the collection will be in the description box down below as well as um, the triple D liquids all that good stuff um, make sure if you do purchase any of the colors from the Gigi's collab with Corgi's wine and nails make sure you tag Gigi's and Miranda so that they can both see the gorgeous manis you create with all these beautiful colors. I cannot wait to see all the manis that people come up with because I think they just all go so well together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.